Seven three to points locals only. This is uh, locals only with Louie tonight. The actual debut of it, and I've got some of my buddies in here. It's going to talk in a minute. I got Lethean in the house, but before I start, there's something I want to stress that there's I'm not Louie the local guy. There's another Louie. I figure I better get this out of the way. There's a Louie the local guy out of Louisville. I'm Splatter Tribe Louie. So you'll be uh, don't just don't let that get confusing. It confuses me sometimes because I get his email sometimes. I don't know what that's about, but definitely two different people. Louis, I, I can't. I don't even know how to pronounce his last name. He probably don't know how to pronounce mine. I'm Louis Bringers. He's Louis. It's Louis Ladenshaw. Ladenshaw. So it's two something, two totally like different that. cats, man. We both do some promoting. We both do <laughs> support local music, but we're two totally different guys. Not to be confused. Uh, and this is, like I said, this is the debut episode of Locals Only with Louie. Axe is uh, not in the studio right now, so we can get away with so much that I can't even explain. I would like to welcome the first, I mean, I was on last week, but it was, it was spur of the moment, but y'all are the official first episode of Locals Only with Louie, Sunday nights on 107.3 to point. Give yourselves a round of applause. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Now I got, I got Lethean in the house, man. We got a show that we're putting together that is on June 18th at Lost Margaritas in uh, Radcliffe, Kentucky. We've done a lot of shows up at Lost Margaritas. Uh, Mr. Dale Donaldson actually was on me for a long time about getting this show scheduled, and some he ran into an infor- unfortunate incident recently. Um, so Lethean made Lethean will be in the house that night. Yes, absolutely, but, we'll be in the house. 
But as far as performing, they're, they're probably not going to be able to perform or whatnot. Dale, do you want to tell people why you can't perform? <laughs> well, on Memorial Day, me and the wife and some buddies took a ride on a on our Harleys and a pickup truck out in 62 decided he was going to make a left turn and change his mind and pull right back out in front of us without even looking and caused me to lay my bike down Man, and I tore my arm up. And it's, that sucks. He's in, he's in a cast right now. I guess it's kind of a cast. It's, it's a full bandage on his arm. Yeah. I mean, the most important thing obviously is that you and your wife are, are all right. I mean, that, when I found out about it, I'd already heard that y'all was at least all right. And I know the arm is not maybe cause as a musician, you may not feel all right, but it's just going to take a little time and you're going to be back. I hope there. so. There's I'm no going to try really hard. They, they're they not telling me anything yet. Yeah. Well, it's only a week ago, people. So he's, he's still fresh on this. One but, week and two surgeries. And two surgeries. <laughs> no, nah, man. But I, I, I have no doubt, Bill, you're going to be back and, and Lethean is going to keep kicking it. I mean, I, I, by the way, we did start the episode with Lethean inside of me because I do not have an intro for this show which uh, they done told me that, that whenever things get going, they're going to make me an intro for this show because I can't have my own intro. It's just not right. Who else we got in here today? We got the whole Lethean crew in here today, actually. Yeah, yeah. We got Mike is in the house and Mr. Tony Bossa. Say hi, Tony. Hi. And he's a new bass player that took Eric Marchand's place when he went to Gorilla Red. Uh, we also have our brand new drummer, Mr. Tyler Martinez. Say hi, Tyler. Hello. So, so what... Um, I mean, uh, what's going to be going on right now? Y'all still, y'all still keeping things tight. Oh yeah, man. I mean, it, you know, and we also are working with a new guitar player that I'm not going to name at the moment. Gotcha. But um, you know, he's he's coming in there with a lot of talent and uh, impressed the heck out of me. And uh, that's awesome. So you know, they're and they're they're going to come, still jam, still write, still progress, and wait for my crippled but well, is there any way to work in like the the old jug or something like are they <laughs> like where you well, just, i might be able to do a jug maybe thing a tambourine or, or something yeah, tambourine man <laughs> some, some maracas i mean there's got to be some way to work you back into it man slowly but surely we're just hoping that the uh doctor can do something with his arm and turn it super bionic where he can so, do some uh, super awesome guitar player. You think stuff. he plays fast now? You just wait to the doctor. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> it like squeezes through the neck. <laughs> no, it's all going to be good, man. I, you got, I, I know it's rough, brother. We all love you. We all know you're going to be back before long. And uh, thanks for leaving me hanging on this show. <laughs> Sorry, man. Hey, you don't know how bad it's killing me. I no, wanted this show I know, more brother. than anything on, you know, in the world. So. I, I know. We and, and this is June 18th. I want to stress June 18th, Lost Margaritas. We're gonna have Metal Mafia returns. Those guys are not local, but they're they're treated local. They've played here a few times, and uh, so they return down here. It's gonna be Metal Mafia. We're gonna have Chaos and Reason. We're gonna have I'm gonna do an, some acoustic set or an acoustic set, and I'll have some guests. And we're we're still working it out. We might have somebody else on there. We're, we're gonna see. We got a couple weeks. It's gonna be a hell of a show, though. It's gonna be a good time. We're gonna have games, prizes. I've got Dale that can help me all night long. Now he can't. Mm -hmm. He's no matter what, run door, run, run some merchandise, whatever. I got, I got finally. I'm not got, holding your beer all night. Finally, <laughs> I, I finally got somebody that could help me all night with it. So it's going to be it's Sunday night or Saturday night, June 18th. Lost Margaritas doors are going to open at seven. We're going to go until we're going to go until pretty late, man. Burnt Boy Productions is helping out on that. Moody Music is helping on uh, out on that. Michael Moody is amazing. Too. Michael Moody, oh, it's my. good. I've never we've never had him run sound for us before, so that's pretty cool. I'm you glad wait. to you glad wait. to have him running sound. I guarantee you, you'll want him back. Yeah, and, and let me tell you, Metal Mafia is going to bring it. They got a long ways yes, to come. Sir. They're going to bring it that night too, and and Chaos and Reason, which it's almost a return of them too, because they haven't got to play in a long time either. <laughs> Close to a year, yeah, I think it was probably the last show at Margaritas, yeah. you know, that I can remember. All right, we're going to go into uh, the Lethean song right now. We're going to go into uh, Last Goodbye. They're going to stick around. We're going to talk a little bit more. 107.3 to Point, Locals Only with Louie.
Sunday night, locals only with Louie, 1073 to point. You just heard Lethean's last goodbye. I've got Lethean in the house tonight. We uh we was just talking about the show coming up on June 18th. Lost Margaritas, Manic Manic Method, Chaos and Reason, Louis Bringers and Friends, and uh we're gonna have Metal Mafia coming back down here to uh to the Radcliffe area. They came here a few years back and they've brought it every time they do. We've got Lethean here, who was scheduled to be on the show, but unfortunately, Dell was in a motorcycle incident this past week, and it's got him down for a few weeks, yeah. at, the, at the at the least, at the most. <laughs> got him down. I hope, man. <laughs> I, y'all got a lot of faith in me. <laughs> oh, dude, you're going to be all right, dude. He, but because of the motorcycle incident, the Lethean's not going to be able to perform that night. It's uh, They tried to get seven different guitars to do what Dell does, but it's hard to get eight guys to be able to do what Dale does so, <laughs> so that's why it's uh they're gonna be there they're gonna we'll be, be there, there that night and uh yeah please come hang out with us i'm i'm going to be in the, we're all gonna be i'm gonna yeah. make them oh, yeah we're gonna, everybody can buy Dale a beer yeah and he's gonna be totally drunk pretty quick then if y'all do that so we hope to have a lot of people out that night or it's, 99 cent taco I'll and be. yeah because i mean tell we, we got to talk about there's that. gonna be 99 cent tacos that night five dollar drink pictures on the hour i'm not sure i'm supposed to talk about that stuff but okay anyway uh we got uh we're, one thing y'all got on the uh the agenda was uh, was you just going to be doing a song for field of screams is that still on is that still a go or absolutely we? we just actually right before my accident we finished up all the guitars all the riffs for it and michael uh just finished, finished up, up the lyrics. lyrics and then i had my accident so but 
as soon as I get healed up, we are going to be, you know, finishing that up comp- with the complete band and getting it recorded. So what, uh, I mean, is, is this a full-fledged Lethean song? Is yes, this inspired yes. by the Field it's, of it's Screams? It's about the Field of Screams on my aspect vocally. Get up a little closer to the mic so we can hear what's... Vocally, the lyrics is completely about the Field of Screams. Okay, you know, I got I, you. That's what it was based on because that's, so you, you know, we're, that's what it's for. It's to promote their business. It's to promote getting everybody out there. But at the same time, still, you know, it's we're a Halloween thing. It a, we're going to use it as a Lethean track. It is going to be a Lethean track. So you know? It's kind of like doing a, a song for a soundtrack to a movie. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Yes. It, uh, uh, he's, he's giving you the signal to still third. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got your new drummer in here who's probably, you never got to talk on here with, with the Lethean as an official member, right? Correct. This is the first time he's been here. Why don't you come here. over here and introduce yourself, man? Yeah, he's and only them, played one show with us. He played yeah. one show, and then, and then Dale decided he wasn't going to play anymore. I don't know. Right, right, right. <laughs> so how did you end up becoming part of the Lethean crew? Uh, uh, Facebook. Introduce hate, yourself first. That. I'm Tyler Martinez, the new drummer for Lethean. And how I got introduced was on a Facebook, the bassist Tony. He messaged me and asked me if I wanted to do some playing. I'd never been in a band, so I said, heck yeah. And y'all did get the one show under your belt? Yeah, and he did, did, and he did phenomenal. I will say that. Thank you. Oh, well, you had to get that down pretty quick too, right? Yeah, yeah I was yeah, about a month and a half, two yeah, months. I thought he was gonna throw up before he showed. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any food in me to throw up. <laughs> no, that's the best part. That's the best thing. Don't ever eat before show. Right. <laughs> right. 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 I never eat before show. He did phenomenal. He did phenomenal. He impressed us. He he pulled it off just like it like he'd been doing it for years. That's and right. The Thank first you. thing he said when he got off stage was, "When's the next one?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for it. <laughs> he did a he did an extremely well job, and even the other bands came up and pointed that out to him. So that was a plus. And uh, what what show was that? Where did y'all play at? That was at the Billiards. premiere of a uh, B- uh, Louisville Billiards Club. We took over Louis, the local guy. Louis, the local guy took yeah. over yeah. that <laughs> venue. Um, for whatever happened between the Jillians, yeah, yeah, and, no, I don't yeah, know, but yeah, 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 it was it, it was the old Bears Club anyway. Yeah, yeah, well, that's cool. That's and uh, well, you know, you got that. I, I want to hear this song, this Field of Scream song. I, I'm curious to hear what it, what it's going to sound like, and uh, and then we'll go from there. Was y'all working on other music before that? Absolutely, we got a bunch of new tracks in the works. That's that's awesome, man. Which is well, well, well overdue. Hey, that's, yeah, that's good. Definitely. Well, you got a whole new lineup now too, man. That's what's. I mean, basically, you got the two guys that's been around the whole time. You got new the whole new lineup. It, this will be the first y'all have done songs together, right? So yeah, for some reason we keep running drummers off. I don't know what that it's like. <laughs> it's like a Spinal Tap thing. It's, it really is. I don't know. I, I, I saw one Lethean drummer blow up on stage. Pow, he's just gone. I was, it was, I yeah, I know, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if, if you haven't heard heard the stories it's about pretty that. Pretty bad when people come up to you and the first thing they say, Who's playing for our drums for you now? <laughs> I'll tell you what, we're gonna have we're gonna go into another Lethean song. They're gonna stick around for another segment. And uh you're on one oh seven three to point local zone with Louis Sunday nights at eight PM. Tell everybody about it. Sunday nights eight PM, one oh seven three to point. And uh, if you're a local band, if you're a local artist, get a hold of me on Facebook. Get your butts in here. I will interview any style of music. I will play any style of music. And uh, as long as you're local, we want to support each other, right? We were discussing that earlier. Yes. Just, just yes. support. We, none of us get anywhere if we don't support each other. Right. So here we go. This is Lethe and Corrupt. Lethe will be right back. 107.3 The Point. Locals only with Louie. Yeah, I'll 
night 8 p.m you're right here this is the debut episode um i hope you're still listening you need to tell somebody else to turn it on too every sunday night because 8 to 9 p.m i'm gonna have this station to myself and the farther i get the more they're gonna let me do things so it's gonna be fun but we, i do got lethean in tonight we uh we're promoting the june 18th show lost margaritas up in radcliffe kentucky the return of metal mafia we got manic method We've got Chaos and Reason, Louis Brangers, and Friends, and uh, we got Lethean that's going to be running around that night as well. Unfortunately, not going to be able to play, but that's that stuff happens sometimes. This but, time, we're just going to give Louis a hard time all night long and stress him out even more than normal. They, they will probably just sit and throw like 99 cent tacos at me while I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> Now that'd be all right as long as they we'll wait hit. for him to play, and then we'll be sitting there right in front of him eating the talk. Yeah, we're gonna the... we're gonna do the soundboard for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's funny too. Ain't there? <laughs> That's all right. Uh, you can throw ninety nine cent tacos at me when I play because I, I I fully believe in the five second rule, and I'm pretty quick. So. <laughs> I'm not throwing it at you. I'm gonna eat it in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a fun night. They are gonna be there, so. Uh, that's that's the most important thing they're still going to be in the house who knows there might be some surprises happen we don't know what's going to happen that night it's a lost margarita show it, it's always a crazy time we got good discounts on everything in the house when we're there there's going to be some contests for everybody that comes in there's there's stuff to stuff to win things to do we got so what 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 else is, what are you guys doing right now while you're waiting for this what are y'all doing to occupy your time while you're waiting for this this healing process are y'all checking into like some Chinese doctors and, and to do some acupuncture. <laughs> no, uh, what we are doing is uh, uh, messing around with other guitar player people. Come in, and try to you know fill in some spots. And it's that's I'm sure that's a tough thing. <laughs> it, it is, it's pretty tough. And something hopefully, something permanent though. Hopefully, whenever I'm healed back up, we'll have a second something that we've been working on for a long time anyway. Want a second guitar player? Well, that's what I was gonna say. Y'all want to have a second guitar player? Absolutely. So now they they can really get a crash course because now they got to do it by themselves while they're learning, right? So, and that, that, in the long run, that might be, benefit a second guitar player to have to get that down like that. And like I said, this guy that we got—I don't want to mention his name just yet—but he's he's really good. He uh, yeah, he's top secret. Is he, for now for top now secret, top for secret. now but they are working on it. so they're they're not letting us keep them down they're not letting us hold them down they're uh they're gonna be back like i said before long you've got uh no, i can still bark orders he's, uh, <laughs> ask him <laughs> ask him oh, man. Uh, you know i don't know they had that dave grow chair for when he broke his leg is there something that we can mechanize for you with the broken arm i don't know i just well, it's not the it's not so much the arm that's keeping me down. It's not man. the broken it's, arm either, by it's the way. The, it's the fingers, you know, all my ligaments and tendons and everything in there are shredded, and um, yeah, so my fingers don't move. Well, yet mine barely move when I play guitar, and I've got nothing to say. <laughs> I've got no excuses for it. So, <laughs> cry me a river, no. <laughs> oh, man. No, nah, for real. I'm glad y'all came in tonight. I'm glad it it does it. I hate it that y'all ain't gonna be able to play that show. I'm glad you're gonna be there, you know. And uh, like I said, Dale was the one that got me to do this dang thing. 
So the first thing we're going to do when y'all get back is we're going to do another margarita show. That's all we got to say about that. Absolutely. And, and take my Harley away for a while. <laughs> he, he loses his, his motorcycle from privileges. From the day we from, start promoting the next one, Dale is not allowed to ride a motorcycle <laughs> until after the show. There's a, is that going to be in a contract now? That's like athletes. <laughs> athletes have to sign contracts that they don't do stuff like that what, during the season or something like that. Absolutely. So if there's any two-week span of a show... If you see Dell on a motorcycle, get a hold of the rest of the band. That's right. <laughs> because they're wondering where he's at at that moment. Because <laughs> no, dude, brother, we love you, Dell. I'm glad. I'm glad you're all right, man. That's the most important thing. Yeah, me you too. You and Ella both are all right. That it, first and foremost, hands down, most important. And right before we go, if you could, you know, yep. just let everybody know out there, watch these motorcycle man. Yeah, that's riders, a good thing man. to touch on, man. You know what? This guy, this guy looks back and sees me and my wife sliding down the road, and I'm hurt, and he takes off, and they're looking for him. He left. It's There's yeah. been a lot of, you know, there's been accidents, too, where I think people pull out and take off, and they don't even know what happened behind them. That's possible. You know what I mean? Stuff like that happens, too. It is, y'all, definitely now that's getting warmer outside. Keep a lookout for bikes. I mean, it. it it's just it takes no more time to look for a bike than it does look for a pedestrian. Just keep a lookout and be be aware of what's around you because it's uh like I said, sometimes that happens. I don't even know if people know it. They just move on down the road and not even thinking about it. My also partner. also if you're riding a bike, don't drive like an idiot either. It was no who was that? It was not directed to anybody in particular, was it? Oh no. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, for real. That does and you know, I've heard people say stuff like that too, but you know what? There's always gonna be somebody doing crazy stuff out there one way or the other but 99 percent of the bike riders out there are just out there enjoying the ride enjoying the, the sun enjoying the breeze or, or <laughs> maybe not 99 percent <laughs> <laughs> they are though seriously keep a lookout for them lethean thank you all very much for coming in tonight i appreciate yeah. it and uh man i we will get you all back in as soon as possible june 18th lost margaritas that's where we're going to return. It's going to be Metal Mafia. It's going to be Manic Method. It's going to be Chaos and Reason. It's going to be me and my friends. I got some friends in the room. Maybe I can convince some of these friends to get up there when I'm playing, too. And we got Lethean. It's going to be in the house. Dale is going to be the mascot of the night. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, he's going to be the, the runner if you need. You're going to be the waiter that night. Is that what it is? If... <laughs> sure. <No. laughs> sure. All right, guys. Thanks, thanks for coming in, guys. I thanks. See you there. Louie.